friends, it's Angel, and today I have for you another vlog. Today I am going to see the Barbie movie. I am so excited. I am also anticipating starting work tomorrow. I'm very, very nervous, but also so excited. And also today, I need to film a thrift haul, and I also have some orders to package. But first, it is time to get ready for the day. And Toby is with me today because he is feeling my nervousness. But today, my makeup process is a bit longer than usual because I am filming today. But also, I want to look my cutest for the Barbie movie. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to wear. Even though my closet is pretty much completely pink, I just want the most perfect outfit. But we will figure that out later. Right now, it is time to chat to you about my week. So, most of this week, I did not know when my start date would be. So, I've just been kind of in limbo. Not really been able to work on my small business. Trying to get as much prepared for me having less time for YouTube. But yeah, I only found out yesterday that I start tomorrow. And yeah, you know, just so nervous. I really don't know what to expect. I know there's going to be a little bit of training videos and just, you know, learning the processes. But yeah, I am still very, very excited. And I really want to see what my new routine will be, both just day to day and, you know, the whole week when I'm going to be able to maybe film, maybe work on my small biz. I am still trying to be realistic and acknowledge I am probably going to be very, very, very exhausted. So, you know, we'll just have to see how I feel. I think maybe at this point I might not have a set YouTube schedule. I am going to try and get this video posted on time, but beyond that, I think it's just not going to be, you know, realistic of me to try and post on this schedule I've set when I, you know, I'm not working a full-time job. But like I said before, I definitely do not plan to quit YouTube. I really, really enjoy it. It's my passion and so I'm gonna keep at it. And plus, I would miss you guys too much. But this week, my anxiety has been kind of flaring up a bit just cause such a huge change is coming. What I found really has been helping me is, you know, um, I showed last week I was drawing when I was just kind of sitting there waiting on something so that definitely helps finding something to do rather than just sitting there with the anxiety and also kind of facing it rather than just trying not to think about it because it is scary starting a new job especially me going from being self-employed to now working full-time for somebody else so that is a big life change and it's completely valid to be nervous and be a little bit afraid, but I am also brave. I'm also gonna get through this, you know? The whole thing about being brave isn't that you are not afraid at all. It's that you, you know, you still get through it. Oh my goodness. I think that might be from Kung Fu Panda. I watched that the other week. <laughs> but that's, that's, it's true. It's true. I don't know. I feel like I've been doing lots of growing up lately and I'm kind of finding this strength I didn't know I had. Oh my goodness, this week I had to assert myself so hard. <laughs> so I usually do laundry at my mom's, but I didn't really have time this week. So I tried using the laundromat at our apartment and oh my goodness, the system is so messed up. You're supposed to just be able to use a credit card, but of course you couldn't on the washer. So I downloaded the stupid app, but I couldn't even use it until I put $10 on there. So I did, did the wash, put it in the dryer and it wouldn't, the app wouldn't work on the dryer. And my clothes were still soaking wet. After I put them on the high setting, I cleaned out the lint cause no one else did. Oh man, I was so angry. So, you know, basically wasted my time and my money. And so, <laughs> I decided, no, I'm not using this app. Well, I go to, you know, try and get it off the app and I can't. And all it says is I can cancel, you know, my account and then lose all my money. So no, I wasn't having it. So I called and oh my goodness, the guy I got was so dismissive. 
he kept trying to tell me, oh no, just cancel. And I said, no, I want my money back. I am not canceling until I get my money back. And he's like, oh, well, we don't do that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm not, you know, ever using this service again. So I need my money back. I was not having it. It was such, oh, it's such a scummy company. And it's completely designed to make it so hard for you to get your money. Oh, so yeah, I kept arguing with this guy probably for 10 minutes and then finally he said fine we don't usually do refunds but we'll refund you on monday <laughs> and you know i started out the conversation nice but this guy just did not want to help me he wanted me to cancel and not get my money back and you know not letting that happen but yeah i was proud i did assert myself <laughs> but now i am having my cup of coffee i've been having lots of coffees this week i guess from all the girl bossing i've been doing <laughs> No, just honestly, I do need the energy. I haven't been sleeping too great, and I've just been kind of having to supplement with coffee. But this is my breakfast for the morning. I'm having a protein shake and also my coffee and a little Belvita bar. And since I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to prep a few things for tomorrow. One of those things is some iced tea to bring to work. And then I'm also going to make a pasta salad out of this chickpea pasta with plant protein so i'm adding some broccoli to a bowl some of this is really not that fresh anymore so i'm trying to save as much of it as i can if you saw a little head bob there that was pumpkin stealing a piece of broccoli <laughs> she is just obsessed and here I am draining the chickpeas. I do save the liquid out of it because it has lots of uses. Then I am putting that away and draining some corn for a little pop of delicious corny flavor. <laughs> and then I had some jalapenos. They're also starting to go bad. So I just cut off the bits that weren't gross. This did make quite a lot of pasta, so it should last me throughout the week, hopefully. And that way I have all these, you know, easy lunches I can just throw together, either that or a sandwich. And mostly I think I'm gonna pack a ton of snacks because I like just snacking <laughs> rather than big old meals. Then I'm also covering up a purple onion, but oh man, it hurt. My eyes were just in so much pain. I had tears streaming down my face. I pretty much ruined my makeup. I had to go back later and fix it. Yeah, here's my little face. And I did put on some sunglasses and that helped. <laughs> Usually I will chew gum or have a peppermint and that seems to help, but not with these. But finally the pasta is done. I heard you shouldn't wait for your pasta to cool down when you add it to veg. You should let it, you know, soak up the good veggie flavors. But here I am adding some mayo. I'm adding two kinds because one, the teal one, is really expensive. Oh, and I also had some fresh parsley that was starting to go bad. So tore up as much of that as I could. Trying to use up all the produce in the fridge, especially now I'm going to be at work all day. And I also, of course, added some seasonings. Here I just added the black pepper needs a bit of pepper and then it was all done put it away and then it was time to pour the tea into my really cute gudetama water bottle i got this at five below forever ago and i really love it it's a great size and also it's just so adorable then i decided to paint my nails i haven't painted my nails in forever usually i just do the little glue on fake nails but that won't work for work so i decided to do just this really shimmery pink glittery clear nail polish and i ended up doing two coats of it just so it looks cute and pinkish because you know wanted it both for the video today and then going to see barbie movie well and a little bit for work too just have cute nails to start work with then it was time to package up an order sold this really cute little y2k baby doll and it's so fairy floral just gorgeous i really wish it fit me but it didn't so it is going to a new home where it will be loved I hope I will still have time to work on my small business a little bit. 
just because I do really enjoy it. I know I'm definitely not going to get to go thrifting as often as I used to. That's the major downside. But hopefully I can still find time for it sometime. But we'll see. Really at the most basic level is I just have to make sure I keep shipping out orders. It would be great to post new stuff. But as long as I can consistently keep you know, sending out the inventory I already have posted, I think I should be okay. But we are finally done packaging. So now I am actually going to go through our frog piggy bank and count out how much money is in there. Me and my mom actually finally did our yard sale this weekend. So I do have some cash I need to put in the bank and I figured I'd go ahead and deposit this money as well while I'm there. We actually did quite well. I made about a hundred bucks from our yard sale. Some things that definitely helped was hanging up the cloves on a clothing rack. We usually do not sell that many cloves, but this time we did pretty good. I think hanging on the rack definitely, definitely helped. Also, I kind of try and lower my prices as much as I can. Because honestly, at the end of the day, I'm probably just going to end up, you know, donating most of the stuff that doesn't sell. So it is worth it, you know, just try and get rid of it for a dollar. Even if I maybe think I would pay three dollars for it, you know, a bit of money is better than no money. Oh, and also Toby loved this process. He loved knocking over my piles of quarters and <laughs> just being all up in my business but honestly i do love it he's such a sweet snuggle baby but i am all done counting up the coins and now it's time to film the thrift haul today and honestly i had so much fun filming this i love filming thrift hauls it is such a good time but Oh man, I really hope I can do more in the future. I really would hate to not be able to do any more thrift hauls because they are just so fun. So far, I've only done a really rough edit on this haul. And so, yeah, no clue when I'll be able to get it out. I really doubt I'll be able to do it tomorrow, but we will see what I can do. I'm thinking maybe Sunday, but again, I don't want to put anything set in stone when really I, I have no clue what's going on <laughs> but this bag I'm showing now I think is gonna be my new work bag because it is a really great size I did start filming this after five I believe and I knew we were gonna go see the movie at seven and it usually takes me two hours to film one of these just some behind the scenes information but yeah i was like oh no i might not have time to finish this before the movie starts so i did kind of try and not rush through it but just be a little more wary of my time and you know if i caught myself rambling cut it off as soon as i could <laughs> the rambling is for these vlogs <laughs> But for this video, I still have not filmed the try-on, and I don't know if I will, just cause it does take a lot of energy, and yeah, I'm just trying to be smart about everything. And I've kind of been talking about it throughout these vlogs, just prioritize things, and sort of conserve my energy. But this is what I'm wearing to the Barbie movie, so I forgot to film a video of it, but here I am at the movie theater, and oh, I'm so excited. And here's the end. I definitely don't want to film in the theater, but I was alone and crying. Oh my goodness, it made me cry so much. <laughs> but here I am back at home and oh my goodness, I will not give any spoilers, but <laughs> it might be my new favorite movie. It was just the right amount of hilarious and also, I don't know, just really nice messages that, oh, were a little too relevant to me starting this new job and you know it, it was just a lot of emotion so yeah i did cry a bunch in the movie theater but that is okay i will get my tears out now and not in the bathroom at work <laughs> but yes now i am drawing because oh i was so anxious i was just could not get out of my head oh my goodness it's almost tomorrow uh, like, how am I going to be able to sleep? 
and you know just just be a person and exist I'm, I'm freaking out but yeah I figured drawing would kind of bring me down kind of relax me and get me focused on you know something something nice this sketchbook you've seen me using is kind of just this like junky throwaway one I've had forever and it's just one I felt comfortable you know kind of doodling and sketching in and I don't know it just kind of took the pressure off just having this junky sketchbook rather than a fresh new one that oh no I'm gonna ruin with with not perfect drawings you know what I mean but yeah I just have been lately just coming to this little sketchbook I keep in the kitchen with a pot of pens next to it and yeah that definitely makes it accessible and uh, I'm also having a delicious cup of tea that helps calm me down too and this just might be my new little calm down evening routine maybe throughout the week I could even do this after work if I'm not too tired and I was thinking of maybe even filling up the sketchbook and it could be its own little sketchbook tour of like kind of the drawings that got me out of my art block and got me drawing again regularly and you know just just having fun with art again not worried about it being absolutely perfect or anything like that I'm just drawing what my brain's telling me to and mostly you know that's just elfy fantasy ladies today I'm doing a mermaid just because I was feeling a merm today. Honestly, sketchbooks this size too and with the spiral are my favorite. So really, I do need another like that. Because I think the giant sketchbooks I keep buying and then not filling up is, you know, it just they're just too big. And I don't know what to do with them. This size is much more approachable and just, I guess, more comfortable to draw in even. My favorite sketchbook in part two of my sketchbook tour that I posted. It is actually the same kind of sketchbook as this one. I just cut off the little side bit that was annoying. So yeah, I really hope I can find another sketchbook like this because I think maybe having a giant sketchbook when you are not very inspired and it's already hard enough for you to draw, that just creates more barriers to you creating and yeah, that's just a big problem. So I, I think I will seek one of these out. But first, I got to finish this sketchbook, of course. Do let me know if you'd like to see a sketchbook tour of this silly little sketchbook that, you know, is just bringing me a lot of peace right now. It's really not that serious. It's definitely not like a professional one. It's just me trying to be okay in the world and trying to get back to something that brings me so much happiness and joy and even like peace and serenity i am just like so in the zone when i'm drawing oh that movie soul uh i don't know if you guys uh know the part i'm talking about where uh the your little soul is in the in the dreamy space and you're just completely absorbed in what you're doing that's completely how i feel when i'm drawing so you know i i really do enjoy that aspect of it I should really bring this to work and then, you know, doodle in it when I do have a break or lunch. Or, I don't know, maybe I will get some scrap pieces of paper or post-it notes. When I was in college earning my associate's degree, I would bring post-it notes and doodle on them. And then stick them in my sketchbook later. If you, you know, you did see the sketchbook tour, that's what I did. And, you know, I'll probably do the same for this. If not, just bring this to work and sketch in it. But yeah, I, I, this really did help me calm down is as silly and simple as it is. It's, it's really what I needed. And I just kind of had um, Netflix on in the background. I'm still bumming off my parents' Netflix. It hasn't kicked me off yet, but we'll see. It probably will soon. But yeah, I really don't want to make a whole Netflix account and... I don't, I don't know. I really don't feel like it's in our budget right now to get, you know, yet another subscription service. So if I can't get on Netflix no more, okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'll just come over maybe and, and do laundry and, and watch Netflix there. But yeah, I am really dying to do a draw with me video where I draw a whole piece and, you know, colored and everything and then talk about my art journey and why I decided not to become a professional artist. 
kind of what happened there because you know i do enjoy art and drawing and all that so much so it's kind of like why no do well it's a funny story but it's a long one so <laughs> so yeah i definitely want to make that a whole video the only thing is finding time to you know sit down and draw a little more elaborate piece that isn't just sketchbook although i am kind of thinking maybe i should just you know do a bunch of speed little mini drawings in my sketchbook and then do the voiceover on that i don't know i'm still deciding and i have to work out how much time i have for everything and yeah it's just it's a lot more <laughs> planning i have to do than usual instead of just kind of being able to um come up with a video idea and then do it i kind of have to see what i have time for but i gotta say just in terms of life in general i am feeling really positive and optimistic you know like i've said i still have a bit of anxiety and just general nervousness for the future but it's gonna be okay i feel like i feel like it's all gonna work out and maybe even be kind of great i mean i've talked about i have a few things i'm afraid of some worst case scenarios in my head but I, you know it's also good to think about what potentially could come of this whether it be you know at, at a basic level just like experience or life life experience or maybe even you know make some friends even that i'm kind of excited because you know i've never got to be part of a team before except you know in school for little small exercises but now i really have the opportunity to like you know build some great work relationships and be part of something greater and that's an aspect of this new job that i am just so pumped for but I am finally done with my drawing. Oh, and Toby Stretch. Yeah, sorry, don't have really a good shot because Toby was just in my business. But like I said, I love Toby time. And now finally we are packaging another order. So we are ready to send it off tomorrow morning just before work. And Pumpkin is out and about. You can kind of see her in the background getting in some little extra puppy time that is an aspect i'm dreading not spending time as much as i have with pumpkin because usually you know we're just glued together you always see her and toby throughout my vlogs because you know they're just you know around me all the time it's gonna suck i'm gonna miss my little babies while i'm at work but i do feel like i am ready for this i'm ready to, for tomorrow but you know both in the physical sense and also I, I think I'm ready to face this and do this and start something new. Oh, and of course, got in some playing with that crazy puppy time. But now it is time for bed. Going to bed a little bit early just because I want to be well rested for tomorrow. But I do hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what content you'd like to see from me in the future. I'm going to post as often as I can, but just probably not on a regular schedule. But thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. It really, really helps out my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!